And in terms of, of how we responded during COVID, we were one of the first to use video. I mean, everyone's using video now, but we were one of the first to, to just tackle it and get it done. And we weren't the slickest. We're still not the slickest, by the way, but we, you know, we weren't the slickest, but we just, you know, we, we knew that that was the way we had to communicate with our clients. Our clients were stuck in another country. They couldn't get to us. So how were we going to communicate with them? How were we going to sell our product? And so we use video in a number of ways. Firstly, for virtual tours, people wanted to see the inside of the house and what they were looking at and what they were inquiring about. And we did it, we did it well enough so that we actually made sales off the back of these. Um, you know, we sold a, a villa in La Zagaleta for like over three million euros off the back of a virtual tour. And all, all we really had was an iPhone with a wide angle lens and a bit of a tripod and that off, off, we, off we went. But it, it made us recognize the, you know, the power that, that, that video can have in this, in this world as we, move, as we move forward. So we started doing um, some YouTube videos, some of you may have, may have seen them, particularly the ones where we take people on little tours of areas with your good self. And we, uh, we found those really hit the mark for a lot of clients. I mean, they're not everyone's cup of tea, they're not for everyone really, but if you're a client who's looking at buying in, say, Elviria, a little area in Marbella, that drive-through that we do of Elveria is gold dust. I mean, that 20, 30 minute tour is kind of everything you need to know. So that's really valuable content. And we recognize that when we were doing it, we didn't, we kind of just did it and put it out there. But then of course you get comments from people who say, wow, that was so cool. It's like I've been there for a week and seen everything there is to see. Now I'm ready to come over and, and, and buy. So you recognize the power of that. And, and then you, know, you do a little video about where I live, like in Montemayor, and then you, know, you put it out there. And then three months later, you get a client saying, I've been watching your videos. Um, you seem to be the local guy in Montemayor. You seem to know your stuff. I'd love to come and meet you. I've got a budget of three million. Blah, blah. And you're like, whoa, where did this guy come from? And I think the good thing for us, or what it's taught me is that I don't profess to be the right person for everyone. You know, we're not, you're all singing, all dancing, high heels and, and Lamborghinis and jumping into swimming pools on video. That's not our style because it's not what we're like in real life. And so we're not going to appeal to everyone. There'll be some people who want that. That's fine. But that's not our tribe of, of people, really. We are consultative. We, we, we're knowledgeable. We're experienced. And we have a good time. You know, we, we do enjoy touring with clients so we have a laugh and we but you know we're serious about when it comes to business and getting a deal done for our clients well you know we're pretty serious people so yeah but what amazes me is that clients approach us and say are we watching your videos and then it's like how's the house move and you're like what because they feel like they know you they feel like they've been watching your videos and they feel like they've had a you know an interest in you for say six months but you don't know they've been watching them so it means that they they want to work with you. They kind of like what they see, which means you're halfway there in terms of building a relationship. Um, so it's, it's been really interesting because obviously, the, obviously the traditional way has always been face to face, and then to to prepare for that, it's always been email and phone call. And, but video has has transformed our business, and now we're trying to get a little bit slicker. We still can't keep up with some of the uh, the big boys who have. I don't know how much money to invest in these things and make them super slick, but we, we want to remain grounded. You know, I don't ever want to take myself too seriously. I'm sure there's moments I, I do, but you know, I need people like you to kind of drag me back into the real world. And um, I think content, relevant content for our clients is important. We could do lots of video tours of these amazing properties that we all have access to, but it's a little bit, in my view anyway, it's a little bit self-indulgent. I think what people want, they want to see a little bit of that, but they also want genuine advice and they want to, to see what other agents don't show them. So when we did the Elveria, uh, what we call carpool, when we did that, we, we showed them the sewage plant because they're going to find out one day. So yeah, we'll show you the, the sunshine and we'll show you the golf course and we'll, the golf course and we'll show you the beaches, but we'll, we'll, we'll show you the, the, the sewage plant as well because that's on your doorstep. So what we try and offer is something that's wholesome, that's, uh, that's true to life you know, warts and all kind of thing. And I think people, people like that. And I think you might lose some clients because of it, but I think you gain far, far more in the long run.